Aloha everybody, welcome back for more Let's Play Resident Evil 2 Remake Part 5. Last time we finished Leon S. Kennedy's story, and this time we're doing Claire Redfield. That's Chris's younger sister. And I hope you enjoyed your week at Momocon and Memorial Day. Let's do it! Yeah, my friend's going down. But enjoy the cutscene. Serious, okay? I saw this with my own eyes. Oh, I believe you, buddy. I believe you. <laughs> Just tell us a story. Tell us a story. Okay, well, it was last Friday night. I was walking home from the bar. And this woman started coming towards me. She was staggering, you know? So I, I figured she was drunk. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, tell us, be honest now. How many drinks did you have? No, man, I, I barely had a buzz on her. Oh, come on. Look, just listen, all right? She got closer, and I got a good look at her. You had to see her eyes. Her nose, her whole face. It looked like it was rotting. Yeah. She looked like a corpse. Like a walking corpse, man. <laughs> Sounds like my wife. I've never seen anything like it. I haven't been able to sleep since that night. All right, calm down, buddy. Calm down. Just, hey, you got to stay strong, okay? Don't give in to fear out there, right? Yeah, well, you got that right. If you freeze up around these things, you'll sink to teeth in you. I should have back somebody. Oh, come on. It's just getting good. What do I do? What am I gonna do? Hello? Hi folks, we're going to explore our surroundings right now. We're playing as Claire Redfield. She just rode a Harley Davidson motorcycle. Now look, why does it say hamburgers? I've seen that, that truck driver eat a hamburger before he ran over to a, a, zomb a zombie woman. Let's go in. Here we go. Hello? Anybody here? Hello? Ah, flashlight. Now let's investigate the store. Are you okay? Wait here. I'll check it out. Oh, that clerk got bitten by a zombie, right? Yep, let's go into the storage room. Sir, hold still! Excuse me, is everything okay? Stay back, ma'am, I got this! Ew! Jeez, what the world? Don't come any closer! 
Alright. Zombie. Come on, finish him off. Huh. He's dead now. Now let's go by his desk and pick up the keys. This is a well-worn key. I don't know how to open my inventory. Let's take a good look. For the SLS 60. This is a five shot capacity 9mm handgun. Its small capacity allows for its small size, making it extremely easy to handle. Let's examine this one. That's the storage key. Let's use it. Your frames are going down. So let's go. The first now is zombie! Right. Once, once we're at the door, Leon this time appears. Whoa! Don't shoot! Get down! Headshot. We gotta get out of here. You all right? Yeah, I think so. Thanks. You can thank me later when we're safe. Holy hey, shit! Come on! Get in! Hold on. have some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah, Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire. Claire Redfield. Live around here? No. I'm looking for my brother. He's a cop too. Well, it's a good thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore. And so Claire Redfield's story begins, folks. All right, here we go. Attention all citizens. Due to the citywide outbreak, you are advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police Station. Free food and medical supplies will be provided to everyone God, this is so unreal. The police station's not much farther. They'll know something. Yeah, but what if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. It's a big city. There has to be. Like we're walking from here. More like running. Yeah, good call. Oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> Oh, 
Holy shit. There, get out. Get out now! Okay? Yeah! I'm all right! How about you? I can't stay here! It's not safe! Oh, shit. Go on ahead! I'll meet you at the station! Oh, you gotta go to the police station, folks. Gotta avoid these hordes of zombies. Gotta keep moving. The last time we see this truck, this truck dude. It's like the end of the world. I know. It's the end of the world, Claire. A lot of zombies everywhere because of the T virus. <laughs> the police station. Almost there. All right. We're getting close to the police station right now, folks. As long as I avoid those zombies. Zombies coming out of the bus. <laughs> Alright. We made it to the RPD, folks. Anybody here? Alright. Now that we're in the police station, we get first aid spray. By the way, I know, oh, I know about health recovery. I, I'm going to discard this item from now on. Let's get some handgun ammo and let's take a good look at that laptop. Come on, Chris. Where are you? Oh shit, they're inside too. David, Marvin, you there? I found a way out, it's in here. Send reinforcements, east hallway. I should help this guy. Alrighty then. Looks like we're gonna investigate the east side, folks. No, we don't have a knife to cut the tape. Yet. So let's go up the, up the stairs. If I take the left side. The west side, that is. Pick up handgun ammo on the couch. Why is there a lion statue and a goddess statue in, in the main hall? Can someone explain to me on the comments below? Okay. Alright, when we're down, let's go pull down that lever. Police door. Too bad, this door is malfunctioned. <laughs> Where are you? Wow. That fuse is missing. That's what's the problem. 
All right. Another one in the East Hall. Let's take a look over there. That door is full of wooden planks and metal pieces. Focus, Claire. Focus. Yeah, focus, Claire. Focus. I'm going to the press room. Pick up some handgun ammo. Turn on the light. Get out. Push that shelf out of our way. Let's go to the women's restroom. That toilet's still overflowing with water. Alright, once we open this one, we pick up our aid spray. Let's get out of here. Oh, oh my god. Oh, of course there's a chain door over there. So, you have nothing to do with it right now. Let's go. We got the officer's notebook. Nice. Man, Elliot would have been saved if it wasn't for those zombies. Man. Now it's time to return to the main hall. There's a zombie coming in. I have to take him out. Don't stop. I'm not going to stop until you're dead, buddy. Alrighty then. There's a zombie coming out of the window. Coming from outside. And zombies coming out of the storage room. Two of them. Crying out loud. Kill those guys. They're still not dead yet. Oh, this no. guy up there, he's getting up. Okay, we've got more handgun ammo and also wooden boards. Ooh yeah, that's for blocking windows. Damn it! <laughs> Let's steal with this guy. I think he's dead. Alright then, let's put the wooden boards here. There we go. Let's get out of this east hallway. Obviously, someone taught you well. Yeah, I know how to take care of myself. Come on. <clears throat> so nobody knows what caused this? 
There's a lot of theories. But all I know for sure is that this place is crawling with zombies. Yeah, you're telling me. Hey, hey, keep that on. Just in case. I'm not gonna be around long. Once I find Chris, we're out of here. You really Chris's sister? Yeah. Why? Did you find something? He's on vacation. Europe, I bet. Left weeks ago. Vacation? That's... that's great news. Well, I've got more for you. Looks like there might be a way out through this secret passageway. Good. <gasps> hey. <sighs> yeah, we should probably get you to a hospital. Oh, don't forget about me. I can take care of myself. No. Don't be ridiculous. You're gonna need some help. Listen, Claire. Save yourself. So you can see your brother again. Now, you probably need this. No, I'm not taking that. You're gonna... Shh. And be careful. If you see one of those things, no matter who they were, you can't hesitate. Take them out if you can. Or you run. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, we got the combat knife that Marvin gave me, gave us. It's cool. Thank you, man. We're gonna need to find a way to get underground, folks. Yeah. Let's see here, the lion statue, which requires lion, thistle, and a bird. Put it in correctly, so that it gives you. A lion medallion. Booyah. Let's go down. Get to the goddess statue. Place that lion medallion on the third slot. So Elliot was right. Yeah, but we're not out of here yet. I agree with you, Claire. We're not out of here yet. <laughs> All right. Now that we got our knife, let's cut down the tapes. And pull that lever down. And make sure I wait till the store is fully open. Okay, let's go. We got an ammo. Wooden boards. There's another one of those. And green herb. Okay, we're in the West Hall. <laughs> Just got hit by a corpse, Claire. Well, let's take a look at that other one. this wooden board right here. Right. The zombie's gonna pop up. Let's deal with her. Come on. Ready? Come on. Not the sniper. Our choice. There we go. Okay, and we're in this operation operations room. I know how to make use of a map. Here, we got the officer's notebook. Oh, this is a letter from best friend. 
Dear Claire, first of all, thanks for the letter. Now, if you let me get this one right off my chest, I can't believe you're really going to do it. I can't believe you're biking all the way to Raccoon City all by yourself just to see your brother. What the hell, girl? I know Chris means a lot to you. And yeah, you haven't been able to reach him for a month and all, but you're nuts. You know how many perverts and assholes are out there just waiting for a hot young college student to come along and take advantage of. Not safe to travel alone. But your mind's made up, isn't it? Fine, I get it. Just promise you'll call when you get to Raccoon City. Don't leave your bestest best friend hanging, okay? Love ya. P.S. Your brother may be the may be the Chris Redfield, and he have taught you how to fight and use a gun like a banshee. But that doesn't make you invincible. So don't don't get cocky out there. I must be a Claire's best friend from college back then. All right, now we're in the operations room. We get this police station first floor map. Booyah! And also, record of events. Yeah, I already read that last time as Leon. Well, let's jump on the crate and go through the window. All right. I'm gonna go pick up some more handgun ammo. Next, there's a zombie that I have to kill. He was banging the vending machine. Yes. There we go. That knife is punk. Aha, skill. Now let's go to the west office. See if I can deal with this zombie. What the hell is up with you? <laughs> See what Claire just said to a zombie? She said like, what the hell is up with you? That kind of made me laugh. <laughs> now let's read this one. Use this as a gunpowder. Handgun ammo, gunpowder, two, acid rounds, gunpowder, plus high-grade gunpowder, white. So machine gun ammo, high-grade gunpowder, white times two. There's not a lot of ammo left around the station, so make good use of any gunpowder you find. Different guns require different ammo, so pay attention when you're combining things or you won't get what you need. Alright, grab gunpowder. Grab it, kill that zombie. Please toss him with me. Oh, my name is Necromorphson. Gotta de-limb these enemies to slow them down. Yeah. But I digress. Anyway, let's pick up this note. Come on. And also, the rookies for assignment. This is a combination. N E D Ned. There we go. This is Elliot Edward. That's not Neil. Why is everything so dark in there? Seriously. Okay, the second one will be M. R G. Booyah! I'll open this up. And we get a speed loader. Custom part for the SLS 60. Greatly decreases reload time. Combine it with, with this one. There we go. Looks like we're going to have to get the spade key. We'll go back for this one later. I got handgun ammo. Nice. Deposit room. Let's read this one. Oh, you already read that last time. I know. Six. This gives you the roll film. One oh nine. Handgun ammo. All right. Roll film. 
commemorative. More bullets. That's nice. I'm gonna get out of here for now. There's a zombie that I need to worry about. Okay. How about herbs? I'm gonna put this roll film in there. So we get the com commemorative photo. Okay, there's a red herb. Light on. Open up the safe. Gunpowder. More of these. I have to combine those so that I can make room. There's another gunpowder right there. Oh yeah. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna go to the item box and get some first aid spray here. In there. Right. Green herb. And another wooden board. Okay, hurry up and put this wooden board here to back to the window. Going up. And there's a zombie coming down the stairs. Take that, zombie punk. Now let's deal with her. Yeah. I'm playing zombie. Yeah. I'm her. Yeah. That's about to break. Ah, uh, yep, it just broke. <laughs> anyway, we'll go into the men's locker room. Ah! Portable safe. I know. Know how to examine items. Let's do it. It's gonna be annoying. Whoops. Nope. No. 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 Come on. Almost got it. Doing another way. Uh uh. Almost got it. This is very annoying. Ah. 
Come on, really? Yes. Got a spare part. Yeah. We don't have the round handle yet. So we're gonna go upstairs to the third floor. Some handgun ammo. Decimal. Can't open that yet. We got a key. Fancy looking key. That's a spade key. So let's roll. What was that? Liquors. I'm gonna straight. I'm gonna read this note. To any survivors. Consider this a gift for anyone still unfortunate enough to be alive. Keep your eyes peeled for those creepy fucks that look like they were skinned alive. Lickers, we call them. They're blind as bats, but they're hearing more than makes up for that. So as long as you don't run around like a total idiot guns a blazing, you should be able to slip right by them, probably. Either way, make like my grandma and creep around as slow as possible around them, yeah? Anyway, not that I want to go, but duty calls. That and I got a friend of revenge, David. Yeah, these are the liquors I really hate. They're very blind as bad. So I gotta, all I gotta do is creepily walk. Okay, we got this wooden boards. Booyah. Oh, is that Jester from Devil May Cry 3? But I digress. He's not, he's not yellow. He wears purple. And I got a hip pouch. That's our first one, folks. And... Scribbling, we already read that last time. Oh my god! It's that creepy zombie coming from the ceiling. I'll have to deal with him. Yeah. I like it. Okay, we're in the library. Claire, it's Marvin. How fast can you get back here? Why, what's up? I've got something to show you. It's important. All right, I'm on my way. All right. We're heading down to the library. We're gonna go to this area. Pick up our map. Police station of floor's map, and we're gonna do this this unicorn statue puzzle. Fish, scorpion, and vase. A unicorn medallion. That's more like it. Okay, we got gunpowder. Good thing I got my combat knife. Another one. Load, please. Shit. That freak. That's the sound of that likes to play possum. Alright, it's all good. Now we pick up this red book. To use the spade key first. We'll go back to the book. We're gonna have to go see Marvin right now. Oh, 
There you are. Come here. What is it? Take a look. Oh my god, he made it! You know him? Yeah, it's Leon. Uh, Kennedy, I think? Oh, uh, the rookie. Thought he looked familiar. You can make it to that courtyard. The second floor, east side. Okay. Thanks, Marvin. I'm on it. Ah. Uh, so we're gonna have to see Leon on the, the on the east side of the second floor. We're gonna have to place this unicorn medallion on the first slot. Okay. Probably go back up there to the library. And get this book. Okay, got the red book. And you're gonna have to do the bookshelf puzzle. This thing you need a tool to get this this lift out of the way. Get the heck out of here. We're gonna use the spade key for this game. Gonna lock it. Can't go back there yet. So we're gonna go up the stairs. Pamphlets. Hmm. He turns a museum into a police station. <laughs> oh no. Let's use the key one last time. Discard that. Damn it. Red book. Hard object. Go pick up that green earth and combine it. Side. Pick up this statue's left arm. Combine it with the book. I'm gonna place this left arm with the book on that statue so that it could give you a scepter with a red ruby on it. Damn it. Red jewel. And key card. Examine that one. And there's a note. I'm gonna go back. Okay, I'm gonna put this wooden board right there. I'm gonna go to the safety deposit room again. Now that I've got the spare part and the weapons locker card key. Uh-oh. 
that zombie's still alive? Gotcha. Okay. Me and my friends are going down. Okay. I'm gonna put the spare key in here. Put this weapon soccer key card in there. So we can open up, open it up, and get the GM79. This grenade launcher is capable of firing flame and acid rounds. Press RB to switch ammo type. This is a single round break action grenade launcher capable of firing both flame and acid rounds. Great for area damage, but slow to reload. All right, flame rounds. Ammo for a grenade launcher. The napalm inside ignites on impact, setting the surrounding area on fire. This thing is very strong stuff. Might want to have to deal with some tough enemies. Alright. Oh, that that's out of our way. We're going to go... Go back to the west office. Alright. Going back to the west hall, to the east hall on the second floor. The helicopter just crashed. Dead end. Okay, got, got a green herb. You get mixed herb. meeting like this. Are you all right? Police chopper, it just came out of nowhere. Yeah, I'm fine. I take it you don't have the key. No, I don't. It's good to see your face, though. How are you holding up? I am hanging in there. Hell of a night, huh? <laughs> yeah. Did you find your brother? I did, actually. He's... <laughs> just when you think it can't get any worse. Leon, you should get going. Don't worry about me. Just get yourself to safety. No, Leon, seriously, they're getting through the fence. Please, just go. We're gonna make it. Both of us. Marvin, this is bad. I've got zombies everywhere. Marvin? Marvin, are you there? Marvin? I'm gonna ammo. God, be kidding me. There's a whole lot of zombies. I'll have to kill those guys. <laughs> Haha, headshot. <sighs> Died. 
die. Oh, a bitch. And you can't open that door. Uh, let's see here. Don't need the wooden voices yet. But got cutting tool. Take a good look at this one. Bolt cutter. All right. Use that. Probably need to get rid of this one. No, 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 I'll get rid of the knife. Use wooden boards. Good lord. I'm gonna use that bolt cutter to cut those chains in order to enter the. East office. What is that thing? Got more spring grenades. Let's deal with him. I got an electrical part. This is a fuse for the main hall. Let me take this chair out of our way. Over there. Put the fuse in there. And, and there's a zombie! Seriously? Is he still alive? inside and get the round handle that's a foul handle folks hang on all right I think we'll go back sometime. maybe later Right now, we're going to go to the west side. Kill that zombie. He's coming in. Like that. Damn it. We're actually cool. Oh no. Now we're gonna have to use those bolt cutters. And we have to get rid of it for now. We got an electronic gadget. Some sort of electronic gadget. Detonator. No battery. Detonator for the C4 explosive. It's missing a battery. Oh, the locker room. Combination with cap. That's nice. Now we pick up this wooden boards. We're gonna go back. Barricade that under other yeah. window. Cool. 
that zombie still alive? Alright, let's go. Lock that door. And go. That takes care of the zombie. Now let's go to the locker room. Okay, get some more flame rounds. Path's clear, let's go! Too far. And it's always too far. The liquor. He's still alive. Okay, Get some more flame rounds. Still alive? Ah, he's dead. Okay. I'm gonna unlock this door. Going inside the star's office. We found a battery. Combine this dead here. We got it. The internal memo. Some more three rounds. So we're gonna need that key for that thing. What? Other words. I had to go to the third floor. Okay, folks, I'm going to put this detonator for C4 explosives in here. And let me, after 10 seconds, let's see what happens. Kaboom! Oh, wow. I kind of flinched. All right, now that we're in there, we're going to do the maiden statue puzzle. Liquor, Maiden, arrow, and snake. And we got the final medallion, the maiden medallion. There we go. Now it's time to activate the goddess statue. We're gonna see some liquor. 
and I was feeling it. Yep, I knew it. Got him. Push this cabinet out of our way again. Floor. Okay, we got more handgun ammo. And I have that mate. Wait. We're gonna go back to the west office. Just to go for the combination. ourselves a hip pouch. Nice. Let's get out of here for now. We're gonna put this jewel inside. This main statue in the middle of the slot. And we're good to go. Wait, wait, let's check on Martin. We'll find a way out. Okay. I gotta hurry. Looks like it leads underground. Good. We can get out of this hellhole. Hey, Marvin! Guess what? I think I found the way out! Marvin, come on. Let's get you out of here. Let's go. Are you okay? Uh, no. I... Just go. Save yourself. Come on. It's bad. We gotta get you to hospital Please, now. Claire! We both know how this is going to end. Get out of the city. I can't just leave you here. Claire, please, go. Do this for me. Okay. Hey, Marvin. Thank you. All right. Now that the door is closed up, I'm going to go inside there and pick up some flame rounds and Gunpowder. Okay. Oh, this leads underground. We can't go all the way down yet. So, by the way, I'm going to check down there. I think we're gonna need a, need a star's badge, and we got hand grenade. I know what hand grenades are, so don't. So you don't have to tell me. Let's go inside. Hello? Hello? I don't know 
world is this? Okay. I'm gonna have to lift this thing up. It's so heavy, only Leon can do it. There. I promise. Do you need help? Here, can you take my hand? I'm sorry, I can't understand you. You need help. Why? He's right behind you. What? It's broken. We're gonna be fighting William Birkin in his first form, mutant form. He's got a pipe. He's gonna attack you. He gets close to you, he's gonna grab you in the head and damage you. He's shooting him. This thing's gotta go down. No. I got the green herb. You're gonna ammo. Wait for me, dude. Reload, please. His eyes opening up. On his right shoulder. It's a three hit combo he just pulled. I'll just use this for now. Look, more green herbs. And there's another hand grenade. Gotcha. <laughs> oh crap. Oh. oh god. Hey. Little girl. It's safe now. It's over. Are you sure? Yeah, I promise. Everything's fine. I just need you to lower that ladder for me. Will you help me find my mom? Your mom is down here? I think so. I hope so. Yeah. Of course, I'll help you. All right. Thank you for putting the ladder out for me, little girl. Okay, this little girl's name is Sherry Birkin. All right, got the hand grenade. Thank you. Let's check one more time. All good. Let's go. See what happened to Birkin? He just fell into the water and screamed. This way. 
I'm coming. Finding items, I know. Oh, there's another herb. That'll be good. It won't move. All right, pull this lever down. You got it. Thank you, kid. Big pharmaceutical company? My mom's always at work. I don't get to see her much. Well, hopefully you'll get to see her again soon. All right. All right. Sherry Perkin is going to be following you. All right, Claire. So, where is your dad? He, um, worked with my mom, but he's gone. I got a hip pouch after opening up this locker. Booyah. Wow. Both of my parents are gone. It's just me and my brother. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be. It means we've got something in common, and that's a good thing, right? Her parents died from the car crash when they were kids. And, oh, yeah, that's right. Claire and Chris's parents have died, which is very tragic. From the car crash, that is. I have to store up those healing items in there so that I can make more room. Alright. We're gonna go up the ladder to where the manhole is. <sighs> Parking garage. Take a look it's around. Closed. Yeah. Close. Oh, they got cold drinks. What we got there. Ah, uh, nothing good. You can't use that. So anyway, we're gonna go into this this machine. You got no car key right now. The parking garage key card. That is. We can cancel it. Cut single trigger. I Damn it. I need a key card. Come on. Here, come out. And you're sure this is the way? This is how my mom took me last time. Sherry? Who's that dude? I've been looking everywhere for you, Sherry. Brave little girl, leave your house in the middle of this mess. On the ground, hands behind your head. You can't be serious. Uh-oh. On the ground, now. Sherry, tie her hands. Why are you doing Shut this? up. Tie her. Okay, then. You tie her up now, or she dies. What's this all about? Child endangerment, for starters. Sherry, come here. What are you gonna do to her? None of your fucking business. <laughs> you hurt her, I swear to God, my brother is stars and I will fuck her. Oh! Sherry, get over here. What's your name? What's your fucking name? Claire! Sherry, you come with me now, or say goodbye to Claire. Okay, okay, I'll go! You better be taking me to my mom. 
Absolutely. Don't listen to him. He's full of shit. Oh! Stop hurting her, please! Don't tell me how to do my job. Stop! Let me go! Let me go! Obviously, nobody taught you manners. We'll fix that. Oh, yes, we will. Let me go! Let me go! I'll get you, you fucker! Stay safe, Sherry. Okay. Key card first. And then that asshole gets what's coming to him. Oh my god. See who this guy is? This is Chief Brian Irons. He's the corrupt police chief. You try to arrest who arrested Sherry. And he and he took Sherry hostage. Where are they, where's she where's he taking her? We're allowed to find out. Must be where that guy came from. Yeah, I know. Let's read this one. Raccoon Monthly, June issue. Attention all Raccoon City heroes. Who's the most fear yet respected man in town? The answer should be obvious to any resident of our fair city. That's right. It's Police Chief Brian Irons. The man that scares the bejesus out of criminals everywhere in stern father that loves every last one of us sinful citizens. Chief Irons is known for his greatly charity work, including big contributions to the orphanage, support for abused women, art preservation, animal conservation. Let us know if we miss anything. Just when does our great hero sleep? When asked, the city is my extended family. I'm just doing what I do for my family, Chief Irons said with a soft smile. Yeah. That's him. Yeah, the voice actor for Chief Irons is Sid Carton. Alright. Let's close for now. Is the police chief? It, it, it is the police chief, Claire. Well, let's pick up this map. The elevator controls room door is locked, so we're gonna need to find a diamond key for it. Man. Oh, look, a liquor. Let's go inside of there. That's equipment disposal notice. Got a box. Examine this one. Got a key. A car key, that is. Already read that. Inside of there. Kill those, those stupid zombies. I like to play possum with you. Ah, good thing we got some flame rounds. We'll go back after we get that key. Too bad. Can't go over there. Only Leon can. Got a liquor. Coming in there. Jesus. One. Die. Annoying delicious scum. Die, man. Stop licking me. Haha, <laughs> got him. Yeah, I'm in caution. This is really bad. Blame this morgue. Keep shooting until the cows come home, Claire. <sighs> oh, 
Okay. The dead body is gotta be somewhere here. Yep. I have to grenade this scum. What the Bam. We pick up this key. Still alive. Well, actually, he's stressed now. So let's get the heck out of here. I don't have to worry about these guys. Reload, please. Let's go. See his spine. <sighs> Gotta deal with that liquor up there. Bastard. Hate liquors. <sighs> Love of God, stop licking me! Got a blue herb. Okay. Open <laughs> this door. And I use the car key. Located. Right here, one of the trunk. Do we get the JMB HP3? 13 chop 9mm handgun, first to use double stack magazines. It was a marvel of firepower at the time due to how many rounds it could hold. Good for you, Claire. Right away, you don't need this anymore, so. Let's go inside to where the police chief is at. Lock this diamond and door. Nope. It gives you the shoulder stock. Custom part for the GM79 that greatly reduces kickback and gives each shot a more stable trajectory. I'm gonna come on that. There we go. Pull down that lever. Hang on. There's a blue wire over there. I'm gonna this up. There we go. Express elevator to chief's office, not for general use. The button, you go inside and press that elevator button. So you can go up. See, Claire? She's holding her, her abdomen because she's in caution. Alright, got this. Observe. Going in there. Read this. Copy of emails to Chief Irons. Police Chief Irons, as thanks for your unwavering support, I have deposited a small sum into your account to use as you see fit. I hope I can count on you to maintain surveillance over your subordinates. Oops. Especially the ones, ones who survived that mansion. Get rid of them if you must. WB. Police Chief Irons, I ran into some trouble with Umbrella Headquarters. The suits wants you to take the fruit of my research away. But don't worry, this will all blow over soon. Just keep doing what I tell you and everything will be all right. Is that, is that here? Yep. All right. Here we go. Police Chief Irons, you are up to the security around my lab. Your muscle heads are to shoot any suspicious persons on site. It doesn't matter if they kill them or even if they're umbro employees. I'm so close to completing G and no asshole is going to get in my way. Police Chief Irons, get your shit together and do your fucking job. I told you I need more security in the sewers. Don't you know how critical of a time this is for me? As for the money, I can pay you whatever once I take over, but not before. Why don't you get that? Never forget how expendable you are. WB stands for it. William Birkin. My God. Umbrella is really bribing Chief Irons. 
What the world? Oh, what do we got there inside his office? Raccoon, eagle, alligator's head, armadillo. Is that a two trophy cake trophies? And wine, hourglass, a lot of books, coffee machine. Caribou, vulture, bat, what are those deers, goats, antelopes, and steer, got buffalo, two male goats, a, a wolf, gray wolf, a fox, and a tortoise. Let's look at this, let's pick this up. We got submachine gun ammo. 380 ACP, aka 9mm short. Submachine gun bullets, powerful yet manageable. They're especially popular in Europe. Okay. Go inside of there. This is a Siberian tiger. And we got a great gunpowder. White. Let's read this one for now. Combine with gunpowder to make acid rounds, or combine two of these to make submachine gun ammo. Okay. We got a grizzly bear and a dodo and a vase. Statue of Anubis, Horus, and Os Osiris, and... Are those the statues of Egypt? Look at all those statues. All those art. And we got an owl. And a pirate ships. Let's take a look. This is a relief. Small but beautiful relief in a frame. Let's read this one. Repair shop letter. From your description regarding the electronic lock on the door in the police chief's office, it sounds like something needs replacing. You will need some power panel parts to fix the issue. Fortunately, a repairman from one of our stories is at the station to repair the bail in the clock tower. We spent a few part, spare parts with him, and he reported that he left on the, in the third floor east storage room. If something goes wrong or you need more than that one, please don't hesitate to seek him out in the clock tower. We look forward to serving you again. We gotta find the power panel parts. Let's, let's take a look at this. Hmm. Thank God. A key card. Yeah. It's a lot of key cards he has there. We need two power panel parts. By the way, we'll read this one. Taxidermy log. White-tailed deer, male, approximately six years old. Place of capture, Arclay Mountains. Length, six to one inches. Weight, 353 pounds. Pleased with how it turned out, but I'm getting tired of working on these puny things. Maybe time to move on to more challenging animals. Siberian tiger, male, approximately four years old. Place of capture, Kravalsk Krai. Length, 96 inches. Weight, 529 pounds. I nearly came when, it, when I sucked its yellow belly open and its warm guts spilled out. I still smell of the wild beast. This is the life. <laughs> Pig. Female. 22 years old. Place of capture. Raccoon City. Length. 5 to 3 inches. Weight. 110 pounds. The specimen's body is soft, sweet, and white all over. And it's all mine forever. Okay, folks. I'm going to put this one in here. Oh, by the way, I'll do a salmon. That. Lover's Relief. A relief depositing a pair of lovers. Let's take out that key. We got a key. Fancy looking key, which is a heart key. A heart shaped key. That's nice. I'm going to use that heart key to unlock that door. We're going to go down the floor. But before we go down, I'm going to go pick up some wooden boards. Flash grenades. All right. More handgun ammo. Let's go back down. Go down all the way. Going all the way down, folks. Is that a zombie? Oh no! Haha, headshot. Perfect. 
And we're going to put this wooden board here. Yeah. Go. Use the... Let's examine this one. This is a diamond key. Use the hard key. Okay. I'm going to pick up this box. An ornate box. Examine that. This is a bejeweled box. I'm going to... Oh, we got a liquor coming out of the, the glass. The glass mirror. Oh my god, we're about to die. We got to heal now. Man, I'm still in caution, folks. He's dead. For now. Now we got some handgun ammo. Clover. We got this gunpowder, and we got confiscation report. Right. That's located in the waiting room. Alrighty then. I'm gonna heal more. It's all better now. I think it's about time we stop for now. Okay, folks? And ladies and gentlemen, I'm Gabriel Gaming 5000K. I will see you next time, guys. We'll be finding the power panel parts and... And also, we're gonna be finding the other new weapon. And part six, till then.